Don't try to be original, just try to be good. Originality isn't something you decide you're going to be. That's the product of your brain. On August 15, 1914, Peretz Rosenbaum was born in Brooklyn, New York. At a very young age, he embraced the field of design and knew that one day he would pursue a career in it. He attended Parsons, the new school of design, and the Art Students League of New York. While pursuing his degree, he was largely self-taught in the ways of Swiss design and typography. Rand taught himself through foreign periodicals as well as through the design work of Cassandra, Laszlo Mahalinog, and Hans Rudi Ernst. The plaque of posters and sock plaque works of Gustav Jensen served as a large inspiration to this passionate designer. With his newfound love for Swiss style and a keen eye, Peretz Rosenbaum rebranded himself, changing his name to the now largely known Paul Rand. While Paul Rand's early work is less known than his major corporate identities, it served to earn him international acclaim. Mahali Naj stated that, of the young Americans, Rand is one of the best and most capable. It didn't take long for Rand to rise to the top of American graphic design. Many of his corporate identities are still in use to this day. He designed branding, packaging, style guides, and more for major businesses such as IBM, ABC, Cummins Engine, UPS, and Ron Westinghouse, and more. Many of the designs that Rand did in the 50s and 60s have lasted to this very day. When confronted with the idea that his work was simplistic, Rand would respond, Ideas do not need to be esoteric to be original or exciting. He was a major fan of restraint. The extent of Paul Rand's influences over the field of graphic design is enormous. After designing for many years, Rand decided to dedicate himself to teaching. While he was known for being extremely harsh, most of his students would agree that he was always right. Tom Geismar, who is a part of the firm that has designed logos for Chase, PBS, Mobile, and Pan Am, says that among many heroes of design, the influence of Rand especially continues to evoke wonder. George Lois, known for his Esquire magazine covers in the 1960s, says, cantankerous, irascible, loving, bristling with talent, brimming over with taste and endowed with invincible personal conviction, the original and badass Rand showed the way. Wolfgang Weingart says of Rand, Rand was for me one of the strongest, most important warning voices about the future of design and the world we inhabit. His attitude was honest and direct. It is clear that we owe many thanks to the legacy of Paul Rand.